Welcome to Seth's Daily Podcast. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. We're uh, blessed enough to have an interview with Haley Newman of uh, Halo. Oh, thank you how for you having me. Tonight, man? Uh, how are you doing tonight, ma'am? <laughs> I'm doing fabulous. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, I know you got some upcoming shows and upcoming music coming up. So if you want to talk about that. Yeah, on June 19th at the Broken Throne Brewery, I'm going to be performing. And on July 3rd, I'm also going to be in Nashville, Tennessee at the Roy Barbary Theater. And I'm kind of planning, you know, to do more shows after my album release, which is going to be like August and sometime during August. So hopefully um, that all goes well. So yeah, shout out to Broken Throne Brewing. Uh... My cousin is the manager over there, Jamie. Yeah. Jamie Sloan, I'm sure you know her. Yeah. She's a really good person. Yeah. I'm very excited. Uh, and uh, what day is that show again? Uh, June 19th. All right. I'll be uh, sure to uh, share that on Facebook. Thank you. And you do have a YouTube page, don't you? Yep, at Legit Halo Music. I have... um. A lot of my music videos that I do in Nashville on there. You guys should go totally check it out. <laughs> it was fun to do them, and I loved every second of it. So, Oh, yeah. Send me the link to that, and I'll put it in the description. Okay. Your YouTube, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm all about helping people. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your biggest inspiration in music? You know, I get this question a lot during interviews, and I have so many people in my life that are, you know, inspirational to me. But music-wise, I would like to say Carrie Underwood. She has always been someone I've looked up to since I was in middle school. Like when, uh, you know, I started out uh, doing music, I did a lot of her songs because I always thought that she had a lot of power behind what she did. And I felt she was very strong and independent, and I wanted to be like that. So um, I would like to say that she's one of my biggest inspirations. Well, I guess I should, uh, I guess I'll just ask you, who's your biggest inspiration overall then? <laughs> um, I would say my dad, you know, he always comes to support me for my shows and stuff. And, uh, he really pushes me and encourages me to do what I'm doing. So. Yeah. Uh, us dads love our daughters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm lucky enough to just be a dad. So man, it is, uh, nothing better than being a parent. Yeah. That's, that's an awesome answer. I usually don't get that answer to that question, but that's actually Ever. the first time I've got that answer. Yeah, so that's great that your uh, dad is your biggest supporter. Yeah, I think, you know, he, he totally is. I mean, he is someone that always comes. He's always there, and uh, he never misses a show, ever. He's always there, and he's always there cheering me on and supporting me, and I, you know, can't thank him enough for that. Yeah. And uh, you st- – you got up to upcoming like videos and stuff don't you like music videos coming out yep actually you know i have uh two new mu- music videos that just came out shades of blue and head over heels you guys should totally go check it out they were so fun to do actually in head over heels um i got to work with a hawk with like a bird and uh, <laughs> it was so fun because um i got to you know experience that and get to feed the bird and stuff and uh She's actually a professionally trained bird, uh, and uh, she did so good in the video, you know, because it turned out amazing. And Shades of Blue, um, I'm very excited for that one to come out. It has not come out yet, but the song means so much to me. It is about uh, a lot of things that are going on in today's time, like depression and anxiety, you know. Um, A lot of kids are going through that right now. And... I thought that, you know, this this music video is going to be something that hits home to me and hopefully, you know, others can, you know, convert to that, you know, feeling that one day things are going to get better because they are. Did you write that during the pandemic? Yes, I wrote Shades of Blue during the pandemic. Uh, I felt like the pandemic had a lot to do with those types of feelings and emotions, you know. Yeah, a lot of people... Uh couldn't go to like music events couldn't play basketball for me it was basketball (laughs) I couldn't play basketball and stuff and it made me uh yeah it was weird not playing basketball like playing basketball every day like I'm sure it was weird for you because you was playing music yeah I mean every day I went from doing live shows like every week to doing nothing 
like all my stuff was online then and I had to learn to convert myself to that and uh, I felt it was really difficult for me because I love doing live shows I love seeing people there and you know saying hi to everyone it meant a lot to me so to get that taken away from me it I feel like that's kind of where the core of that song is yeah that I definitely feeling. gotta give it a listen yeah like I said, the link to YouTube will be in the description, so you guys should definitely check out that song and all the rest of her songs on there. Yeah. That's amazing, though, that you uh, put your emotions into, like, writing. Yeah, I mean, it's a really uh, big outlet for me, I think. You know, as for many artists, um, writing music is a place of comfort, but also vulnerability, I feel. And uh, most of my songs come from personal experiences. It comes from my real life situations, you know. And I hope that somebody out there is going through the same exact thing I'm going through, you know. And as an artist, I can only hope that I have touched somebody or I've made them feel something, happiness is, or sadness or some type of feeling. I want them to feel like there's somebody out there who feels the same way as they do. Yeah. And what is the type of music your band does? Honestly, they do uh, my music. I don't really have a category for it. If I feel like, um, you know, I do pop, I do country. And I actually, um, for one show, uh, I did 80s rock. <laughs> um, I'm, I feel like I have such diversity in my music, you know? Yeah. And uh, I think my band does an absolute great job portraying my, my songs yeah you have an amazing drummer shout out to sean <laughs> sean we love you sean <laughs> <laughs> sean was a it was a heck of an interview he was a great guy he is a great guy and man mm -hmm. it was an honor to interview him he's a heck of a drummer by the way too <laughs> amazing. everyone in the band they're great at what they do destiny ian uh brandon uh kevin scott and sean they're all great at what they do Oh, yeah, shout out to Scott Cable as well. He was a great interview, and he is a great person as well. Yeah. Scott's yeah. always, like, the funny, you know, <laughs> really kick-around guy during band practice, and I'm so glad to have him in my band. He's amazing. <laughs> so I've interviewed – you're the third member of your band that I've interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally <laughs> sure of them because they're amazing people. Yeah. so yeah that's good to have good people around you and your band yeah they're again they're amazing at what they do like every single one of them they they come in they do what they're supposed to do they they have fun with it and I think having fun is what it's all about really enjoying yeah. you know those moments in life and taking them with you I think that's the most important thing yeah if you don't love what you're doing then it's not gonna be fun there's I believe that you know if you have to force yourself to do something, then there's just, there's no point in doing it in the first place. Yeah, because you, you, got, got, you got to love what you do. If you don't love what you do, you're just going to be miserable. Yeah, because you, you know? only got one life. <laughs> yep, one chance. And take what, you know, was given to you. Yeah. Let's go more into the detail about your show in Nashville. Because mm -hmm. that's awesome that you're doing a show in Nashville <laughs> yeah I'm very excited to do it this makes my second time going and I'm gonna be doing two rock songs <laughs> <laughs> because it's all about having fun down there and uh just having fun like I said just having fun down there they um their their band that I'm gonna be performing with is amazing Roy Barbie's band is so great as well at what they do every single one of them the first time I performed with them I was like wow <laughs> all these people are so nice you know so it was a really fun opportunity for me and I'm so glad that they asked me to come back it meant yeah, a lot. where's that at um it's somewhere in Nashville Tennessee like I'm not <laughs> really <in> directions so <laughs> yeah but everybody yeah. knows where Broken Throne Brewing is at so uh which is a great place by the way and what they've mm -hmm. done it's been amazing. Yep, I'm very much looking forward to that show because I've never performed there before. 
And it's always fun to go to new places and perform for me personally, because I never know what's going to happen. So, <laughs> you know, it, that's exciting to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's just, uh, it's fun for you just to do shows now after being so long without doing them. I mean, yeah, basically. I mean, I, I was, you know, not able to do anything for so long to finally get back out there and to everything coming back to normal movie theaters opening and stuff i'm very happy that things are you know getting back to the way they were yeah unfortunately here i live in knott county i'm not sure if you know where that is yeah i know where knott county is yeah yeah there's a uh, in perry county there was a uh, theater that's been closed and stuff there's been a lot of stuff shut down during this pandemic which mm-hmm. is really sad so it, it's good to see that there is a lot at the end of the tunnel we, we're back to live music and we're back to uh, more people being able to see shows, more people mm-hmm. being able to just to go inside of a restaurant and eat. Yeah, I mean, that's that's an exciting one for me. I, I always loved going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the one in Pikeville, the movie theater in Pikeville just opened up. And I, I bet that place is packed right now because nobody been able to go for so long, you know? Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm really excited there. I'm going to be, what did you say? It is very exciting to get back out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. The audio like went out in my mic for a second where I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Sorry yeah. about that if I interrupt you. Oh, you're good. You're fine. I'm going to have to do interviews without the mic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, people have uh, got vaccinated so they can go back to life. Yep. I think um, that it's a good thing that everyone's able to go out now because I feel like being in that state of just being home and for people who don't live with their parents, you know, they don't get to see them. They don't get to see their family because if they do, they're afraid that, you know, they're going to catch COVID. And it's just been a very stressful time for a lot of people, I think. So really good that people are getting there and they feel safe and comfortable and stuff like that so yeah I will have to say after being fully vaccinated I feel way more safer same (laughs) (laughs) even though the shots was not fun to be honest no they were not fun no um a lot (laughs) of people uh said that their second shot was awful have you heard that yeah uh it didn't do nothing to me my first shot you. Nope. Now, my sister, on the other hand, she was down and out for the count. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> she was out for like two days. She couldn't do anything. Yeah. But to be honest with you, man, the shot is, uh, it just, it's gave me peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just amazing to be able to be able to go to restaurants and I'm sure you're just happy to be playing music now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to just be getting out there and getting to see people. And the funnest part, you know, about being an artist and getting out there and doing these live shows is um, seeing the reaction of the people, making people happy and seeing people dancing. It's, it's always the best feeling for any artist, I think. For me, especially. Uh, uh, for my last show that I did, uh, my cousin she came she came up to me and she was like I want to be just like you but I'm too shy to do it and I'm (laughs) I'm like you are you know I was like you can do anything you set your mind to you just got to believe in yourself and she's like yeah I just got to believe in myself and I'm like yeah you know and even though she you know is my cousin it felt so great to impact somebody so much to make them feel like they want to do what I want you know like doing what I'm doing right now yeah, there ain't nothing like following your dream and inspiring other people to do mm-hmm. what you do. <laughs> Amazing feeling, it really is. Yeah, and and following your dream is uh, it's definitely it's not that hard when you love what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, following uh, your dreams is a very important thing to me. It always has been. Uh, I always encouraged anyone who came to my shows to always follow their dreams because people think that their dreams are too high, you know, too high to reach and they're just dreams. And I'm like, see, but it's your job to make those dreams reality. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
trying and pushing yourself, that's how you get there. That's how you do it. So. Yeah, it was definitely um, very inspiring for like, uh, like you look up to singers and stuff. I look up podcasters like Joe Rogan and Joey Diaz, stuff like that. And it made me follow my dream. Shout out to Joey Diaz and shout out to uh, Joe Rogan. They're two of my favorite podcasters out there. Yeah. And I've actually talked to Joey Diaz before. Yeah, that's amazing that you're following your dream. Um, because I just think that they're worth fighting for. I think dreams are worth fighting for. It's just a big belief in mine. So. Yeah, and I got to give a big shout out to Joey Diaz, man. He's one of the best people out there, man. Yeah. I'm not sure if you know who that is, but he's texted me before and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, man. He's a, he's a great dude, man. He's got one of the best podcasts. It's called The Joint. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good podcast. Yeah, he's a comedian. I'm not sure if you know who he is. No, but I'll go check him out now. I think if he inspires you enough, then yeah. check him out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. yeah, it's a great podcast. He's hilarious. Yeah, that's good. Have you ever thought you should? Uh, have you ever heard of Patreon before? Yes, I have. I have heard of Patreon. My sister has one. I, I got one as well. The podcast is on there. You should. Uh, yeah. Uh, post I, them. On yeah, I've been really uh thinking about one. My sister, she's uh she's an animator, so yeah. you. Know, she posts her art on there. And uh, speaking of her, she is so amazing at what she does. Have you ever seen uh, any of her animations she's done before? No. What's her name? Uh, Lumix Love. On YouTube? And, yeah, Lumix Love on YouTube. And it's L-U-V for like love. But um, she is so amazing at what she does. She actually did my video for Driving Me Crazy. Um, and... Uh, Shades of Blue, which were both uh, shot here in Kentucky. I did uh, Driving Me Crazy at Billy Ray's, and then I did Shades of Blue at the Mac. And I thought that those, both of those experiences were great. Billy Ray's, they were amazing. Shout out to Billy Ray's. You guys are great. <laughs> and shout out to the Mac. You guys are amazing as well with your help and stuff. So yeah. it was. Do you know uh, Malcolm Johnson? He's a really good singer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I interviewed him. He's from Pike County. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's a heck of a singer. He sung Mustang Sally on my podcast. You should definitely check that out because he killed it. I love Mustang Sally. That's one of my favorite songs. I love seeing people perform that song. <laughs> he performed at uh, Broken Throne. He has a show there June the 16th, I believe. All right. Uh, hopefully I didn't uh, say anything that I wasn't supposed to say. <laughs> Well, he does have a show there June 16th, so you guys should definitely go to a Halo show and go to a Malcolm Johnson show as well. He's a heck of a guy and a heck of a talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, people doing songs together is great for uh, this area. Yeah. Um, I love listening to people, you know, who are local. I think uh, that I can relate a lot to them. And, uh, you know, I hear their music and I'm like, I understand what it's about, you know, as a writer and stuff. I look into things a lot deeper, you know, than probably I should, but um, it's just one of my quirks. If I listen to somebody uh, singing an original, whether it be about something fun or um, sad, I, I get it. Um, they were passionate enough to write about it. And I think that's inspiring. I find uh, local people very inspiring, especially from another local artist, you know? Yeah. And uh, what is your Facebook page? You can shout out your Facebook page, all your social media sites. What is you your all your social medias at Legit Halo Music. Okay, is that your Facebook page as well? Yeah, that's everything. Like it's YouTube and stuff like that. All right, send it to me through Messenger. I'll put it in the description for sure. All right. Okay. And your YouTube as well. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you for being on, by the way. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It means a lot. <laughs> this has been the interview with Haley Newman of the band Halo. I want to thank her for doing the interview. 
without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Y'all have a good night, and uh, God bless.